Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can use the count function in MySQL to return the number of rows, that is the count of rows matching a specific criteria. So here we can get the count of rows and you can also set a condition and on that basis you can get the number of rows. So here we have started our MySQL server. Let's say we have a table employee. Let's see the records of the table employee. It is having five columns. Here you can see select star from the employee to get all the records from the employee table. Semicolon on pressing enter all the records will be visible. Now here we are having five columns with four row records. Now let's say you want the count of employees with age 25. For that use the count function select. Now use the count function bracket. Under the brackets you need to set the column from which you want the count. So we want to work with employee age column. So we will enter it. Press enter. Now the table name from table name is employee. As you can see here. Now enter. Now here using where clause we will set conditions. Let's see where. So what we want where employee age is equal to 25. So we will set the column name is equal to 25. So we haven't added any single quotes because we are working on numeric field. So quotes are only used when you add strings. So here we are having numeric value. So we haven't added any single quote semicolon press enter. Now the output should be two because only two employees are having age 25 press enter on pressing enter. You can see only two is visible. So here we counted the number of employees having age 25. Now let's see another example. Here how you can count the number of rows in the entire table for that. It's very easy. You select then count bracket. You need to only add star not any specific column name because we want the count of rows. That is the number of rows in the entire table. So I will add star now press enter. Now only add the table name that is from employee. Semicolon press enter. Now you can see count four. So in our table we were having four rows. The count is four. That's why here four is visible. Here it is. So guys in this video we saw how we can work with the count function. We also saw that that how we can set conditions so that we can get a specific count of rows. So guys thank you for watching the video. If you liked it do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.